Welcome back to the IGCSE Computer Science Code 0470 guide. This chapter, we will be discussing about programming, which is part of exam paper 2. In this chapter, you will learn about data types, arrays and its types, use of variables in an array, and declaring arrays. Basic data types. In order for a computer to process data efficiently, different types of data are used. They include integer, which is a positive or negative whole number, for example, 10, 2000, minus 1, minus 200. Real number, any positive or negative whole number, decimal, rational and irrational number. For example, 5 over 3, pi, minus 10, minus 10 over 7, 0 0.32. Char or character. A variable or constant with a single character. For example, gender is equal to F or female. String. A variable or constant with several characters in length. It is possible that a string may have no characters. This is called an empty string. For example, name is equal to Alice. Boolean. A Boolean variable can only have two values, true or false. For example, age over 18 is equal to false. Note, a variable is a data item that contains a value which may change throughout the execution of a program. A constant, on the other hand, is a data item which contains a value which stays the same throughout the execution of a program. Arrays. An array is a data structure that holds values of similar data types. It basically allows us to store an unlimited number of items within the same data type. There are two types of arrays. One-dimensional array. It contains a single row and multiple columns. It is made up of elements. In the example below, each student name is given an index number. So, if we are asked to print student name 2, we will get the name Dustin, since his index number is 2. Two-dimensional arrays. It contains multiple rows and columns. It is made up of a collection of one-dimensional arrays. In the example below, test marks are assigned to each student. Let's assign the array name as student name and marks. So, if we are asked to print student name and marks 1, we will get Mike 91. Declaring arrays. To declare an array, we use the following structure. Declare identifier array 1, 2, n of data type. The data type can be an integer, real number, string, etc. Also note that some programming languages such as Java starts the index of an array with zero. For example, declare an array with space for five students. Using the structure given above, it will be declare student names array 1 to 5 of string. Example 2. Declare an array that contains 5 student names. So it will be declare student names array Alice, Bob, Mark, Paul, Dan. Any 5 names. Using a variable as an index in an array. A variable can be used as an index number so that the same code can be repeated many times. In the example below, the user states the number of students in the class and stores this as a variable. This variable can then be used when declaring an array to ensure that it is of the required size. Here, the user inputs the number of students in line 2. Then, the program takes the number and creates an array for the names of the students to be entered. To input multiple names, a for loop can be used since the number of repetitions are already known. A complete program which enters the students' names into an array with for loop would look something like this. Exercise question. Write an algorithm in pseudocode using a single loop to print out 50 names that have been stored in an array. Your answer should be similar to this one. 
the mark scheme is shown to the right. Alright, so by the end of this video, you should know the, the different data types, which include integer, real, string, character, and boolean, one-dimensional and two-dimensional arrays, declaring arrays, use of variables in an array, and use of for loop in an array. The resources used in the making of this video is shown to the right. I hope that this video has helped you understand a bit about programming, and I'll see you guys in the next and final chapter of the whole syllabus, which will be databases.